everyone, it's Jamie here, your Collin College Frisco Campus Makerspace. Today we'll be going over our 3D printing process. The first step in 3D printing is having a file. We prefer STL files in our Makerspace. You can make these files yourself on Tinkercad, AutoCAD, or some other program, or you can find tons of free files online at websites like Thingiverse, GrabCab, and Colts 3D. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to use a file I found on Thingiverse. First, I'm going to go to thingiverse.com. And today I want to print a stand for my phone. And I think I want to get something that will allow me to add some plants to my desk. So I'm going to do a quick search for plant and phone. And I really like this first one, the layered landscape phone stand. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. See, it's by Laura Hoffman. And as you can see here, it shows me the file right here, and this one is one file. Sometimes you'll get these 3D prints and there'll be several different files that you have to print out separately, each file, and then put them together later. Um, but this one's nice because it's all just one file. So there's some photos here of what the finished product's going to look like. So I'm going to go ahead and click Download All Files. I'm going to save it. I click on it to unzip the folder, open it up, go to files, and you'll see here I have the STL file. I'm going to drag that somewhere easy for me to find. In this case, the desktop. I'm going to shut that. Now you're ready to submit your file to print. Here at Collin College Frisco Campus, we prefer online submissions of 3D printing. 3D prints can take anywhere from hours to days to print, and so it's beneficial for you if we start the print and you come in and pick it up when it's finished. So to submit a file, first go to our website, which is Colin, oops, Colin Libguides. dot com slash prc makerspace and you're going to click up here on online submission forms make sure that poly printer 3d print forms is selected and hit begin go ahead and fill out and put in your information today is the 24th Make sure to put in your CWID and your Colin College email address so that we can email you when your print is done. This project is personal. Just a reminder, we are taking coursework and personal projects and they're all free for current students, faculty, and staff of Colin College. Okay. Go ahead and click a color preference here. If you have no preference, click that. That'll be the fastest way to get a print. Otherwise, click your preference. Go ahead and name your file. Put your file name. It should be your first, your last name, underscore first name. And then choose your file here. I'm going to go to my desktop. Open. And hit submit. Your file has now been emailed to us for printing. Once we have received your file, we will upload it onto KISS Slicer to be sliced. Slicing defines how the model is built and instructs the printer how to print it. I'll select the file here, open it in the program. You can see how it's going to fit into the 3D printer. And then I hit slice. And you can see as the program slices it layer by layer, to gather the data to tell the printer how to print it. If I hit models and paths, I can see how it's going to print it. If I go down like this, it's showing me layer by layer how it's printing it. And if there are any supports that are needed, this would show me supports. 
This print luckily doesn't need supports, which makes cleanup a lot easier. I'll save this file on the desktop, and it saves it as a G code. This is the file that the printer will then read. I'll then go to our poly printer programming. I'll make sure it's connected to COM3, which is the printer I'm going to be using. I'll hit load file. I'll choose the G code. Hit open. And you can see it upload it right here. I'll set my extruder at 230 and my bed at 110 degrees Celsius. It's still uploading that file, and now that it's done uploading, it tells me it's going to take about two hours to print. I'm going to hit print, and the printer's going to start warming up and printing the file. I hope this has been an informative video and that you're excited to submit your 3D printing files. See you soon!